Greetings YouTube, Simon here, and I hope you're all having a lovely day as we kick off another Final Fantasy VIII Remastered Guide video, yay! So today we're all about the CC group and the quest that is involved with them. Now the CC group are a bunch of individuals that we can play cards with, and not only do we get some decent cards from battling them in the card game, but we can actually complete the quest later on, and then by doing so, unlock the main reward, which is actually being able to play them again at cards on disc 4. Now, the, the reason that's a really good reward is we can actually beat them on disc 4 and collect repeatedly the rare cards we've already been collecting. Cards like Minimog, cards like Quistis, etc, etc. Why would we want to do this? Because we can refine those cards into very powerful items and then get those cards again infinitely. So, for example, now, uh, just before I say that, I should also mention, you can only hold one rare card at any one time, but just as an example, take the Quistis card, a lovely card which refines into 180 triples. However, on disc 4, we can refine it into 180 triples, play the CC group and get it straight back. And then we can again refine it into 180 triples and then play them again and get it straight back. So we can get the really powerful refinements along with the really powerful rare cards themselves. So it's a really nice quest to do, one I strongly encourage you to do. And you can begin it on disc 2 once you've gone ahead and made your way through the Balam Garden section where you have to recover garden. And spoiler alert, it becomes a mobile command center. Once you've done all of that good stuff, you can get this quest underway. You can't complete it yet, but you can get a good bulk of it done. As always, guys, a huge thank you to those of you who support the channel as a YouTube member or Patreon. And if you are new to the channel, then please don't forget to go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell notification. Let's get this quest started, shall we? Now, we're going to make our way down to the main entrance hall, but before we do that, there's one more prerequisite in order to do this quest. You need to have won at least 15 of the card games with other people around Balam Garden, not including games you've played in the library, the classroom, or the cafeteria. So, games around this main hub here and the main hall do count, including against the little boy that runs around, who you probably won the Minimog card off earlier, uh, and also the guy at the front gate. But once you've met that re uh, prerequisite of having played and won 15 card games, speak to this guy here. Now, if you speak to him and he doesn't tell you to push the square button to play him, then you know you haven't played enough games yet around with other people. So you'll need to do that. But once you're ready, go ahead, hit the square button and he'll introduce himself as Jack. If he asks to mix, mix rules, I just, uh, recommend that you don't do that so that you can just keep the balance rules for now uh, and then go ahead and play him. And that's it. So the general gist is once we go ahead and win a card and beat the CC group member, they shall then tell us where the next one can be found. Now, the first is the card master and the CC group's leader, King. Uh, and the others are called the four suits. So he just goes through the various members here. Okay, so the next person we need to play is actually called Joker. And Joker is located in the training centre. So you might want to save before going over there. Uh, incidentally, he doesn't always appear in the training centre. He certainly doesn't appear in the library. Uh, we'll make our way over there now. Uh, we need to actually speak to him a couple of times in order to get him to play. And as you can see there, one of the little bonuses for beating this guy is that we actually get... Um, an upgrade to our battle meter, which is worth noting. So, nothing really exciting here in terms of the cards that he's playing. So, let's just go ahead uh, and chuck that down there. Always play defensively, in my opinion. And then only take a card once it's blocked or can't be taken. Such as in that instance there. Okay. Okay. So the CC group members themselves aren't all that challenging. So it's upgraded our battle meter, which means that we can now view guardian forces. One thing to note about this guy is he does carry a rare card, but he doesn't really play it all that much, and that's the Leviathan card. So we'll take Leviathan. Okay, right, we're going to move on to the next now, uh, which is going to be back towards the dormitory okay so I beat club 
and Club just walks around outside the dormitory. He doesn't always spawn, uh, so you might just have to run in and out in order to get him to do so. Now, around here, we're looking for the two girls. So they don't always spawn. Now, when they do spawn, it can be tricky to actually play them. So you kind of have to stick with them and just keep spamming the button more than anything. Uh, once they actually start walking, I think then we can play them. Yeah, there we go. So it's when they're walking, you can't actually like interact with them, but then you can when they stop. Okay, let's play. And Card Princess Diamond does play for some, uh, play some pretty decent cards, as you can see there. So um, I think we'll go for the Jumbo Cactua. Pretty exciting. You can, of course, play these members as many times as you want, but you only need to play them once in order to advance the quest. Anyhow, once we've gone ahead and beat Card Princess Diamond, we'll be able to play Card Princess Spade, but we can't do that until we've completed the next part of the story section, uh, which is where we're going to go into the B1F area, which I haven't done yet. So we'll, end, we'll continue on with that in the next part of this little mini quest series. So folks, I hope this has helped you. If it has, don't forget to drop a like. Make sure you check back once I do the next part of this video in a couple of days' time. Uh, but until then, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Goodbye.